Hi, how are you doing today? So it's like the 12th of January, 2015. And um, <laughs> I decided to do a 2014 top five, like health and beauty, health and beauty, like the health and beauty aisle, like in Kmart. I don't ask, I worked at Kmart when I was like 18 years old and that's what popped into my head. Um, even though I was in charge of the office supply aisle. Um, which by the way, like heaven, heaven, heaven. I, I say heaven is like an office depot. Like if I could just, mm, just papers and pens and markers and crayons. <gasps> Anyway, I digress. So, top five. Plus. <laughs> um, some of them are like duos. Um, products that uh, I guess I rebought over and over again in 2014. Um, the first thing I am going to talk about is actually something that has been in my uh cabinet medicine cab I don't know my like bathroom I guess I don't know um for at least four years now since it came out um and it is the uh Dove um ultimate go fresh cool essentials uh, cucumber and green tea scent, um, the deodorant and the body mist. Um, I got these as a, like, free sample, um, for something, somewhere, I don't know, in my mailbox, like, I, I really don't know, but I, because I was never, um, a fan of the cucumber smell, um, I had a boyfriend who like burned cucumber melon and it just like stayed in my brain I don't know it just it was not a pleasant thing to remember I guess um so I was a really big fan of cucumber um so I never would have bought this but like I said got it as a sample fell in love with it um there was another one too like I got this and then I got like a secret brand one that was like vanilla. They had like sparkles in it, like the bis the misted. And I really like that one too, but they discontinued that one. They still make this one. So um the only like deodorant I buy. So it works really, really well, um, I have to say, because I'm like one of those people who um almost had to wear like prescription stuff, this stuff works great um and then I like this because I get to like layer on this smell um you know and it's kind of thing and it's a clean kind of thing um I, I like it um the next thing is uh some the moisturizers that I use um at night I wear moisturizers but I find like I haven't really found one specific one that I love um anymore although I have to say and, and it's because I have but I haven't rebought it and it's because it's um it's the night cream or night serum I guess um in the Mary Kay like anti-aging uh Stuff. it just it works great I just I, I just need to really buy my whole Mary Kay skincare because I I really feel like there's nothing well no, I'm not gonna say it, but the, it, I really feel like it's pretty awesome anyway I digress um, so because I do not have that I use these two things um, by Garnier um, this is the Skin Renew Awakening Face Massager, and so after I wash my face, I put this on, 
and um, it's cool. It's got a little roller ball. Um, <laughs> some of the products. Um, my only complaint is that it the little roller ball puts out a lot of products. So you can't really actually use it to massage it in. Um, I had this other moisturizer uh, last year that I loved, but they discontinued it. Um, that had a roller on it, and you could massage because it was like a squeezy tube, so you had to squeeze it to get the product out, or you could just use the roller. Absolutely love that product. Um, it was by a brand that I will talk about later because I love that brand. Um, and then uh, I finish off before I put on any primer or anything like that. I put on uh, this Skin Renew Anti-Sun Damage um, Lotion, which has a, a uh, broad spectrum SPF of 28 and um, it is a little thick feeling on the skin. I mean not too thick it just it doesn't it soaks in but it's still you can still feel like you have you still feel like you have something on your skin and it's it's because it's the sunscreen but it's not heavy like sunscreen but just to let you know it doesn't just completely soak in um, so that and then um, another product that has been in my bathroom for, <laughs> um, a couple of years is the Rimmel Fix Perfect Pro, um, primer. There we are. Um, if you're looking for a great primer that does everything that it says it does, smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies, protects, there you go. This is the one for you. Um, I then I have gone through a ton of BB creams, and I may just do a video on BB creams for brown skin women because I have tried a bunch. Um, I found because of YouTube this uh, Aqua Kiss BB cream um, in light to medium and. It, uh, it works pretty well. It um, evens out um, skin tones and conceals fairly well. I'll use this in combination with the next product, which is the Nuance um, by Salma Hayek. <laughs> Salma Hayek. Sorry. I, uh, sometimes. Uh, tinted moisturizer. I love this brand. Um, I don't know if it's because she's Latina or what, but um, foundation, concealer, uh, moisturizer, um, I just, just literally like five days ago found BB cream in this brand completely matched me. Of course they discontinued it. I've been going around town because they were like on they were seventy five percent off and trying to find all the ones that I can find um, all around town <laughs> um, at the CVSs because this brand is only at CVS and I went online not online anymore um, just the that particular product um, but I love this uh, this brand this was the brand that I had that moisturizer that had the little rolly on. It was pretty awesome. Um, been thinking about trying some more of the products. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I really, like I said, I really like it. It just, it, uh, especially for the colors, um, it just, the, it just gets my tone right. I don't really, for other other products it's not necessarily matching my color but matching my undertone I either look really red which is usually a huge problem I look red or I look gray um, almost blue like it just it's just not um, just doesn't it's just hard and she does a good job um so oh I almost forgot and then you're going to be like, 
What about your lips? Here you are. All you do is talk about your lips. You're not going to talk any, any favorites about your lips. Um, if you're wondering, today I have um, 104 from uh, Rimmel, the Kate Moss Matte Series. That's the color I have on today. Just because is what I picked up. Um, the one thing that has been, the one lip product that has been in my purse, um, and not the same two, uh, has been in my purse, but you can see it has been loved. You can't even read it. Um, in my purse for the last two and a half, three years is, um, by Neutrogena, and it's a tempted, uh, revitalizing lip balm that they have. It looks like this, like by this color here. Um, and it's, uh, pretty awesome. It, uh, takes care, it helps with the, like, fine lines. Um, and things around your face, or around your face, around your lips, um, and it moisturizes, so, um, yeah, so, sorry this came really late.